Thanks for being here, everybody. A renewed call for tougher gun legislation after last Monday's mass shooting at Old National Bank. WDRB investigates reporter Valerie Chen here with a law Kentucky doesn't have, but other states do. So Val, what are legislators specifically pushing for here? Well, it's called the red flag law. It allows police to temporarily confiscate guns from people who are considered dangerous or perceived as a threat. Congressman Morgan McGarvey tried to get it to pass in Kentucky while he was a state senator. Unfortunately, it never came up for a vote. This is the type of law I think that works. And yes, we have to look at gun laws. We have to look at putting people and kids and public safety over guns. In Indiana, these actions have to be at least um, initiated by a law enforcement officer. But oftentimes that happens when family members make complaints to law enforcement, expressing their concern that someone is dangerous and in possession of a firearm. It passed in Indiana in 2005. 19 states and Washington, D.C. have some type of red flag law. Governor Bashir wants conversations to start again about that type of law. So what makes Kentucky more lenient than other states when it comes to gun control? Well, there are several things. Gun permits were no longer required in 2019. There's no waiting period when you buy a gun, so you can go into a gun store, a gun dealership, and when you go there, you can get a quick background check. Sometimes that only takes about 10 minutes. And then next thing you know, you can walk out with a gun that same day. Some other states have a waiting period, so it's different in Kentucky. Also, with been controversial is that Kentucky State Police auction off guns that are confiscated by police so that gun that was used in the mass shooting the AR-15 style weapon can now be auctioned off by Kentucky State Police and some people want that gun to be destroyed but right now that would be up to legislators. You know so often we hear about these people that are getting guns when they're not supposed to. How often are people being denied. They're not allowed to buy the gun that they want to buy. I asked the gun dealer that question. He says it's not very often that people get denied when they go through the background checks. He said only about 0.5%, a half a percent mm -hmm. um, of people actually get denied. So the majority of people who go in to buy a gun from a gun store, their background check is going to be cleared and they're going to walk out with a gun that day. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are having these conversations right now. They're talking about all of this in the wake of all of the gun violence here in Louisville. So an important topic. Val, thank you. And Marcus Green goes in depth with the story. He talked to all the gubernatorial candidates about their thoughts on the red flag laws. You can read that story right now on our website at WDRB.com. All right, here's Jude.